sorry if this commentary sounds a bit rushed, but uh, this is actually the second time recording it because for some reason my game is crashing. But this is uh, part five of GTA uh, 4, The Lost and Damned. Hope you guys enjoyed the premiere of The Ballad of Gay Tony. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. Hopefully the game don't crash on me this time. I, I changed some stuff. I completely, because I have a backup. I completely just replaced the clean backup version of this game into the main file. So hopefully we don't have any more freaking crashes or glitches. Because my god, I'm getting I'm getting just so angry. But GTA 4 will still be modded. It's just that the DLCs won't have any changes whatsoever. Anyway, let's get going. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. I think a guy like you should be pleased. Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves! Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya! <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. Later. 
was a pleasure beating you gentlemen. Johnny Cavis. All right, Jim, Johnny, since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We? are gonna watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! Where the fuck's Billy? Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill, yeah, he's fucked out. Thanks to you. 
Not around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Man, let's just get back to the bikes. Suspect William Gray arrested in Chinatown incident. Unit What's all that down. about? I don't know, man. Billy sounded pissed. He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna do? You're gonna stick by your brothers. We gotta pull together now. You're right about that. Let's see what Brian's got to say. Clevitz, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? Hey, come on, move it! He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, John. You're giving a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass kissing little weasel? Brian, Johnny's not like that. Jim, mm -hmm. you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him, and they've been calling him. I know, because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you. And I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's going to be more pressure on us than ever. We got to get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. So, some 
that mission really was fucking cursed because it crashed on me like 50 times as you'll see it's gonna crash on me in the middle of the fucking sentence and I'm gonna be like what the fuck but uh <laughs> oh my god so first four times it crashed I won the race between me and Billy I'm like well okay maybe I'll just let him win see how that works I let him win the cutscene works as you as you'll see in the edit process so you see me shooting up the the Chinese or you know whatever getting out of there blah 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 all that is legit I can't say for the cutscene if I even show a cut the, the, the secondary cutscene after that because what I had to do is I had to literally download a save game that was not mine to continue this video that already had that mission beat. Now I defeated that mission, legit, but the game just kept crashing out because I wanted to make this a decently long video. Uh, but for some reason this, this gameplay, this DLC, it's cursed. I don't care what anyone says it's cursed. And this shit's cursed is literally the perfect... Yeah, because it really is. Anyway, hopefully no more crashes. But if it does, I don't know what to tell you guys. I might have to scrap the Lost and Damned. I don't want to. But we'll see. I'm really freaking mad though. If it I just hopefully that's the last crash. I'm just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older mature shit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun. Johnny. Brother of mine. Alright. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. mock has got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man. You gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. Yo, you fools have fun. But remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man. But one thing's for sure. We will have fun. All right, play nice. Peace, son. Later, Malk. Peace. Later. This mission can be kind of annoying. Um, it all depends. There, it's it's not that difficult, in my opinion. At least from what I remember. The, the problem is finding them all. It's just a long mission. And as you notice, I changed to the... Uh, yeah. Because... <laughs> I mean, I'll try to do it the legit way. Not doing it, doing this. But if it pisses me off, now see, this is what makes me mad too. This road is not. There we go. Sometimes, you know, the, the way they want you to do this is throw pipe bombs, and that, and it works sometimes, but. You gotta be careful because you can blow yourself up very easily in this mission. Alright, here they come. See that this is this is just the preferred way. Fuck you, deadbeat! Just do that. Are these That's just so much easier, more convenient. Now where the hell are the other guys? 
I see one there. Where's the other one? Is it like way on the other side of the map? Usually in the same vicinity. Oh, there he is. I know I said I tried to use the pipe bombs, and I will, but that was just so convenient. Like, he was coming towards me. If I'm behind them, I'll, I'll try the pipe bomb, but he was just, he was just so convenient. So I had to do it that way. Alright. He's above me. See, now how this works is you just gotta... Uh, you kind of have to just toss and hope. But see, that don't work, so... Just toss and hope. Toss and hope. Toss and hope. Toss and hope. Screw the angels of death! Well, that worked. But it's not really that reliable compared to the, uh... To the rocket launcher, to be honest. And plus, if they don't even see you coming, you just blow them the fuck up. Depends how you want to do it. it it's really up to you. If you, you want to have fun and just blow them up, awesome. Anyway, I'm going to stop the commentary, just in case some of you don't like commentary during mission. But yeah, I was just explaining that. I saw a stranger mission, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's way down here. Jonathan, job done, my man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malk and Deshaun are good guys. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry or Clay a call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. So, I think I deserve, or you guys deserve, I deserve, I don't deserve shit. Other than, you know, my game not crashing. But, I think you guys deserve some explanation. So, during sh this shit's cursed, they try to play it off as like, who, who betrayed Billy, blah blah blah. But as you guys probably saw in the Ballad of Gay Tony, Lisbeta, yeah, we'll be doing her missions next after some gym missions. Um, but yeah, during the Ballad of Gay Tony, uh, my fucking brain just like, like shut off. Oh god, it crashed before I did it. I really don't want to go in this tunnel if it's going to crash again. No, 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 not this tunnel. I'm paranoid of this tunnel now. Uh, anyway, as you saw in the Ballad of Tunnel, Billy was trying to set up Johnny. Um, so... Where is it taking? So obviously Billy tried to set up Johnny. So he's obviously guilty there. But what it doesn't explain to you is that actually, it, it happens in the same night as that mission, but Tony's happens like hours earlier compared to uh, 
these guys, and I think it's even in a different location, but I could be wrong. That's why the like the Chinese dude is all like pissed off preemptively. Because you know, because uh, Luis and Tony pissed him off. But the idea is that Ryan is pretty much a snake, as you should know. He's he but he but it's badly written. But the idea is that, I, I think they tried to make it seem like, oh, did Johnny really set him up? No, obviously not. That's stupid. I don't know where the writers, what the writers are doing there. It's very convoluted. But, it's obvious that Brian set up uh, Billy. And maybe not on purpose. It's just that, Bill, uh, it's just that Brian's a coward, right? And when he saw Billy getting overrun, he abandoned him. He got scared. He left because he didn't want to get arrested. And plus, as you'll see, he'll tr he tries to take over the chapter because the whole time he wanted to be captain to begin with. He want or president. He wanted to make Johnny look bad to Billy. You know, pin them against each other. That's why Billy blames Johnny for setting him up when it was actually Brian. And then when Billy's in jail, because Brian is obviously not going to fight Billy, the only way you're going to get rid of him is put him in jail. Then Brian is going to try, as you'll see, spoilers, um, it's not really spoilers, this game's been out for a long time. He tries to become the new cat, uh, new leader, but obviously Johnny's the new leader because he's the, uh, the vice. But, you know, Brian tries to be like, oh, you know, but Johnny set him up and he creates rumors and he fucks everybody over. Uh, so he try he tries to, uh, make Johnny look bad. But Brian's a little bitch. Anyway, done with this rant. Let's move I'm on. I'm a man of hard labor! Please, no! What the hell? Johnny! Who are you? Dave! Dave Grossman! I'm a friend of Billy's. We met at the clubhouse. Friend of Billy's, huh? Well, good luck with that. Well, hey, I haven't seen him for a long time. But hey, hold on, man. I need a favor. What? What am I, the Midlife Crisis Association? Oh, look, I am desperate, man. Take my watch, take my fleece, uh, take anything, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking desperate. I'm dying here. Why is that? I'm being blackmailed by my secretary. She's saying I touched her. And I didn't do anything. She ruined my life. I didn't do anything. That's unlucky, man. Look, it'll break my daughter's heart. She's saying that I looked at her tits. And because I did that, I suppressed her. She is a fucking moron, but my wife is not a kind woman. She'll get one whiff of this. One whiff and she'll rip my life to shreds. I'm a lawyer and I'm getting ass raped by the law. Can you imagine what that feels like? Mercifully not. Well, look, all I need for you is to intimidate her lawyer. Just make him get her to back down, man. So you want me to go put the fear of the Lord in a lawyer? And you're gonna pay me for it? Shit, Dave, why didn't you say so in the first place? Solid. I always confused Dave Grossman with Tom Goldberg. Like, I thought he was the dude that you whacked in GTA 4, but apparently he's not. So, no spoilers. You know, for the final interview mission? Yeah, I thought that was the same dude, but apparently it's not. Would have been funny if it was, but. Lawyer's driving out. But he already. How's he? Did he already find him? The only good lawyer is a dead one. Uh, okay? Put the brakes on your case against Dave Grossman or you'll be one good fucking lawyer, dude. Okay. I know when I'm beat, okay? Chill out, will ya?
it's so weird to me that they didn't program phone calls for Stranger Missions. I guess they just didn't want to put their number into the, the phone. It seems like lazy programming to me, since they're obviously a mission giver. But it is what it is. It's not a big deal. It's just, you'd think there'd be like a follow-up phone call, like, hey, I took care of that for you. You know, they could have even did like an unknown number that you can't call. You know, some shit like that, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. I guess we're taking our chance with this tunnel. Hope to God it does not crash. I'm thinking that was only during a mission. That's the reason why I crashed, I'm hoping. Uh, usually I go through this tunnel and it's completely fine. It was fine, but earlier. Yeah, that mission, it was just cursed as hell. I don't know, man. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being too negative. It's just... I'm trying to record, and I went through, like, literally eight crashes, bro. I had to, like, replay that mission, like, five freaking times. Anyway, anyway. Chill. It's about chill. We're gonna chill. Here comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey. Fat and Johnny. Hey, my brother. Hey. hey, what's your plan? We spoke to that fat fuck Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. Brian <laughs> wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy'd stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. Yeah, and your babysitter Billy's on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. Not your call, you get the boy. fuck out of town. Not your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers.
mission in these imposter bikers, man.
Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. Just a quick nap there, hard save, you know. I think I always run the wrong way. Yes, I do. What's happening? Is that nail polish, bro? Hopefully, Every everything's been good so far. Let's not jinx it. <clears throat> Got an Elizabeth mission. Mission. Let's do that one. Jim hasn't called us yet. That's when I think Brian has been found. So we'll do an Elizabeth mission. Elizabetta, Elizabetta, however you want to say her name. Missy, Queen Coke. I think we missed her, right? We missed her since uh, the last time, especially since G in GTA 4. Nico's side, it looked like she was getting, uh, looks like the cops were coming down on her. I think, because this is in order, I play these missions in order, it's chronological order. Uh, she must have got a lawyer or something. Between talking to Nico and them, because she, as you'll as you see, is doing okay. She's doing okay. She's still doing her thing. Um, but this is still the correct mission order. You know, all the stuff that happened in GTA 4 is before this. So I don't know if she like did a little bit, maybe she did a little bit of time, and then she's already out. I think I missed my turn. Maybe not. No, I did. Good. Um, but yeah. She she did something to uh to to buy her some time. That's for sure. What that something is, I don't know. And I would do uh I would do more gang wars and races, but I don't want to show repeats of the ones I already did. So, uh, I might have to save that for another video to make sure that it's not the ones you've already seen. Because again, this is, I had to use uh, a save I found online because I literally couldn't get past my save. Um, but I will definitely update it. All the missions, I'm doing all the missions in order, and this is partially why, is because, you know, stuff like this doesn't happen, then I have to replay a mission. But don't worry, you will not see any replays of any missions or anything like that. Um, I will make sure to play it and whatnot. Edit it out if that happens, which is what we will do with the gangs and the races. Because I will definitely do some more of those in the future. But not this video. This There's going to be a lot of missions in this video, so, yeah. You know, Chico, hold up. Where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up Jay, in here. I'm talking to you, all right? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between a narc and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about it. Hey, okay? yo. What up, Johnny what boy? Job? What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with peoples like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your choppers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. There's a recession going on. 
And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Malcare is my compromise. Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't the problem <laughs> dimes for us. Yeah. People are always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. Hell, they're gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down there. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their loan, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Entiende? Uh, yeah, it is. Now get the fuck out of here! We right. out! We out. Okay, ma. Avanza, cabrones. ¿Qué? Let's go. Bus. Okay, fucking uncle. parade. Trame una fucking criada, Andreas! Watch your mouth, son. Make fuck yourself you. useful and clean this uh, shit uh, up! Okay, okay, but you know what? I'm gonna need some wrong gloves. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Because... Let's keep a low profile and ride in the car, man. Can you get your people to bring our bikes to the drop-off? Handle this, Johnny. Take us to the bridge, Johnny boy! What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle, motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny. This is one serious gun, amigo. This what they call a street sweeper? That's about accurate for this shit. It'll carve through any motherfucker dumb enough to stand down wind of us. No doubt. I'm guessing Liz wants this convoy head like a fucking freight train if this is the firepower she's dishing out. Should be interesting. Why is my phone glitching? I can't hit the menu. What the fuck is going on? I could do this. Okay, whatever. I'll call them after the during the mission. You have arrived. I'm gonna take care of this. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, it's okay. Kidding. You just What's breathe. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Honey, Listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. What's the problem here? Okay. Hey, would you just let us through? Look, you don't gotta exact change. You're not going through. Those are the rules. I don't make them, but I stick to them. So just turn around and head back to the Look, I'll come back with all the exact change that you need, all right? Just let us through, please. You gonna pay my bills and put food on the table? Turn around now! Hey, look! I got some change right here! Come on, let's get this shit moving. All right, this one's on us. Now move your ass. Thanks, guys. You're doing great, honey. It's okay. Just... All right, now. Let's do this. Malk, man, you look good in that booth. You should think about a second career. These guys ain't gonna know what hit them. We gotta get that white shit.
Lock up on the point, man. Come on. So, Malcolm, I got a question for you. Sure thing, Jonathan. Shoot. Well, Malcolm, it's your crew, the Uptown Riders. Are you uh, a motorcycle club like us and the Angels of Death? I don't know. I mean, we ride bikes and we ride them hard, but the thing is, we don't wear fancy dresses or do pinky finger shakes or anything like that, so I ain't sure what that makes us. We're adults here, Malcolm. Allegedly, Johnny Boy. Allegedly. So let's not let this descend into an argument about the merits of good American machinery versus foreign plastic fantastic crap. Or why you guys look like rejects from a bondage club. Or why you guys dress like the Republican Space Rangers. Ouch! Anyway, what I'm asking is, What's the deal with this music you put out and the branded clothing and shit? Just part of our vibe, man. Roll with it. The vibe? Yeah, man. The vibe. It's how we do. You know, we're a complete subculture. Like you guys used to be back in about, what, 63 or something? Completely fucking lost, if you ask me. We've still got heart, man. The lost MC are still here. We just don't get on me TV and scream about it. Yeah, sure you are. Whatever you say, Johnny boy. Woo! Well now, that's a fine little nest egg to get us through a low point in these here global markets, baby. Sure, Mal. I'm just hoping you, me, and Liz can stay out of jail long enough to enjoy it later on. Drive my 
my thumb for me? Yeah, I did, and it handled like a piece of shit. I dumped it in the lockup you mentioned, if you're interested. Not in the van, baby. But maybe I can do it in what's in the back of it. I'll send Andrea to check it out. See you soon. on that turn when it's just like buckle.
Gentlemen, Johnny, you remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me. I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked artichoke. joke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? <laughs> Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> Uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where? And how the hell does he know? All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one hand, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all-out gangbang be my guest. You're all adults. Sort of. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. Yeah, bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. And right now, he's our problem. God damn it! Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit. And see just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later. I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. Fucking Johnny the Rat.
Chump, you little fuck! Who wants to live forever? Lost damn fucking C! You fucking ready for this? Billy's not here to protect you, Brian. You're done for. Sons of bitches! Where are you, you anti-Semitic cocksucker? Brian, brother, it's time! Shit! Someone look after Brian! You ripped this game apart, assholes! We were your brothers, Brian! I've had about enough! You're Come on, you bro. pussies! You. Where are you, little girl? Ah. Ah. Oh, oh. You won't be going down for nothing, I promise! You're mine, you weasel! I'm not wasting any more time here. Time to say good night, Brian. Get cover. Oh, Brian. Lost MC forever, my brother. Don't do it. I'll leave the city. I promise you, man. Time to quit, brother. You're dead, football. Come at me. Billy. Johnny, man. Billy put me up to it. I'll get out of town. Please, Johnny. Please. I'll be good. I'll leave and I'll never come back. You swore an oath, Johnny. Don't do this to your brother, man. I'll get out of town. I'm, I'm sorry, please! Come on! For once, do not be a bitch! You've got to take it like a man! You, Brian. Jonathan, where's Brian? Halfway to hell, my brother. We don't need to worry about that little fucker pulling nothing. Good to know. I'll stop looking over my shoulder. Well, until Billy gets out of prison at least. Stay in touch. What's that quote from Goodfellas? They didn't even know. <laughs> the, the casket was closed at the funeral. Or whatever. Ah uh, man, I, I don't know the whole quote. I think my bike's still in the front, but if not, I'll take that one. <laughs> Wasn't even kind enough to sh not shoot him in the face or some shit like that. Had to be a closed casket at the funeral. Fuck Brian. <laughs> Safe house is like shit, collateral, shit. but I something about that just don't sit right with me. I say burn the place down. Now you can call Terry and Clay to help you with that mission, but obviously my phone was glitching. And uh, if you call them, they'll give you a special weapon, and you can like firebomb the house as an alternate way of. Uh, Surprising Brian and his gang, but I felt it's more personal just to go in there and take care of yourself, you know? That's how you do it. Let's do a hard save again. Your hand feels like a sagging What's new, What's cooking? You making my baloney pony go wang, wang, wang! Scared of me, 
aren't you? Whatever, let's do this. Well, if it ain't Johnny himself. I mean, does the phone working even matter? I don't think it does, personally. I don't. Fuck the phone. We just won't be able to hang no. out with the boys. It is what it is. Maybe it'll fix itself. Because sometimes, as you notice, I was able to check messages during that, uh, that scene, but that is the weirdest glitch ever. Now, whether I keep it in, I probably won't because it crashed. I tried to call 911 on the phone ah! to let you insert numbers. Um, yeah, the game crashed when I did that. <laughs> so, I don't know why. I don't know why, man. I feel like I'm complaining a lot. I don't want to be that guy. I really don't. Alright, I'm gonna shut the hell up now. Oh no! No, it's not a moment, chica. <laughs> no, all you gotta do is walk through customs and you're home free. It's not bien. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. And hey, don't worry about my friend Johnny, huh? He's, uh, he's ugly, but he don't bite. <laughs> uh. Uh. Andreas! Hey. Andreas! Hey! Why do I pay you to protect me when you what? don't do I, nothing? I was in, in the kitchen, I was doing the thing. I don't want no family. fucking excuses! Get but, the fuck back in the kitchen! Pero, okay, tell me. Okay, tell me. Jesus! <laughs> hey, Johnny!
funny boy. What's up? You had a good time the other day with those boys, huh? Men and their motorcycles. Sure. <laughs> Why we need to hit that convoy so hard? You know, all these bodies can't be good for your business. Ah, uh, you don't think I could survive out here if I wasn't dropping some people? I'm the big boss! Okay. People gonna love you, but they're gonna hate you even more, right? Now you're starting to sound like Billy. They're gonna hate you because you're a woman in this macho fucking world? They're gonna hate you because you're from the island? Super people think Latinos ain't worth shit in this town. When you're the big boss, and you me, these bodies gotta come with it. Okay. I came up from a rough background. Men tried to turn me out when I was 14 years old. I fed him his balls. I'm just saying you should limit your casualties. <laughs> when I ended that fucker, I got a reputation in PR. No man touched me after that. Now I, I ain't saying all men are bad. Would have married three of them if I thought that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this, Liz. Okay, okay, go get my girl, Martha. She just came in on the adios flight from PR. You think this place look okay? It's so hard to get it nice again once the assholes have their party. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, she'll love it. Okay. Where? Andreas! Si. You fucking missed a spot. I miss a spot, no. Come off these pillows and get that spot off my couch. I actually really like this mission. This is a fun one. The only thing is, is I can't call Terry or Clay, man. Now if they called automatically and was like, hey, you need backup, that'd be a different story. But, you know, phone glitching, can't call them. So we're gonna have to solo it. But it's all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. Let's try to have a chill, fun night. The rest of this video. I might do this in one more mission. We'll see how it go. We'll see how it be. But, uh, yeah. You know, of all my complaints, this is still a really fun game. I love this DLC a lot. That, that's really why I'm mad, because this DLC... I love... Out of the two, it's probably the, the lesser quality one, admittedly. But I think this one was made very fast and very rushed compared to the Ballad of Gay Tony. That's why it's more, that one's more polished. But I still love the concept of this. I love Johnny as a character. I'd be a little bitch sometimes, but it's still a good, it's still a good game. Anyway, let's get this going. Welcome to America, the Department of Internal Security. Déjame, suéltame. What? Yo no tengo perico, tú no entiendes. Yo solamente huh? vine aquí para ver el estache de happiness. Habla inglés, ¿eh? Habla inglés. Suck American penis when you get into holding. 
Liberty Swingers, good team, eh? Hey? Wow! Drug mule skanks ain't usually this cute. This is gonna be fun. Hey, yo, Alfie! No! I don't know about you, but the America I believe in doesn't deport hard-working young girls like this one. Yeah, well, the only thing this girl works hard at is swallowing bags of coke and in a minute, blowing me. So, uh, oh, sir, yeah, cool. Hey! Oh, hold on. Your name Marta? Si, si. Uh, come on with me. Come on, keep your head down. Esta 
I hope she can swim. Carajo! The police are mamones, man! Fuck. Good boy. Los tombes no tienen ni puta idea de cómo manejar. Vámonos, Johnny. Police, muy bien, Johnny. You got my man. Fuck you. Mierda, esta ciudad está llena de tombos. ¿Dónde está el puto airbag? Los tombes no tienen ni puta idea de cómo... La estatua de felicidad, las mujeres feas, los políticos lascivos, la delincuencia armada, la ciudad más ensimismada del mundo. Sí, Liberty City. Liberty City. Very good. You learn good. I mean, you're learning very well. Usted no es exactamente lo que esperaba, señor Johnny. Y ahora vamos al hotel de cinco estrellas. Me no habla mucho Spanish, lady. Necesita una ducha después de esta bienvenida tan perra. Uf. Estoy mareada. 
¿Tiene idea de cuántos condones llenos de perico hay en mi intestino delgado? Espero que nada se haya roto. No speak y -e Spanish, Marta. I'm sorry. Okay, here we are. Aquí. Bueno, gracias, Johnny. Nos vemos pronto. in jail I could smoke inside. That's the shit. Hi, welcome to Burger Chot. How can I help you? Here you go. Fuck me, man. I really need this. Yeah, I feel you. Bye. Thanks for eating at Burger Chot. doesn't even get me stoned. True, true. Ah, Forgive me! Andres, you piece of shit, leave the room alone. She knows how I like it. You, you don't need to tell her shit. Leave my... Hey, Johnny! Hey, what's happening? Andres, shut the fuck up! Te quedas para comer? Huh? Eat. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We gotta go. Shit's gotta get done. All right, some other time, then. No, I don't think there's gonna be another time, man. Shit's closing in. All these snitches all over the place. You fucking hear that on your wiretap, Andreas? You fucking hear that? Maybe you guys should uh, get rid of him and sell this coke later, huh? You want us to take Marta off your hands? Look after her until the heat's gone? You ain't getting your hands on my baby girl. You only gotta worry about yourself and selling that coke. You don't gotta worry about me, and you don't gotta worry about her neither, okay? Okay. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, we out, sir. Adios, amigos. Andrea's gonna be waiting for you. That's right, I'm gonna be waiting for you and you and anybody else who shows up, okay? Because that's the way I roll. Hi, we gotta head out to the courts on Butterfly. Let's go. What up? Got that package for you. Yeah, man. Overnight express. What? You been stepping on this shit? Fuck you. Test it and see. If pure as punk like you gonna find. Yeah, listen, you do your job and let us do ours. <laughs> Whatever, man. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking good? Yeah, it's good. So what you gonna do about it? I'ma take it for our own. I don't think so. Well, you best change your mindset, cause this right here, man, is hat. Yeah, motherfucker! Oh, you fucked up now, bitch! Holy shit! Yo, you see Fuck. what you did? This shit God fucked up, damn man! Damn you, motherfucker! Oh, the fuck fuck fucking fight, man! man.
Seems like these cops got us surrounded. Johnny, I need you to check out the windows of that truck. Malcolm, thanks for making room on that pussy pad. Ha, ah, always space for you, Johnny boy. And maybe we should get us a room together at the Jefferson Motel. I heard you and your brothers like that hardcore, hard rock bonding shit. Quit these flirtations, <laughs> B. All right, all right. You gotta take this shit back to Liz. Right, right, yo. Catch you around, Johnny. You wanna kiss your daddy? Whoa there. Peace out. See you boys later. didn't happen. Buyer got smart, pigs got involved. Our friends are heading back with the product. Things that couldn't get much worse here, you know. You know, these is tough times. You better stay away from me and Mara for a while, huh? See you. All right, baby. Just don't get freaked out if you see me rolling in a cop car. Weird times call for weird measures, Liz. How's it hanging? Gotta pay for hurting Lucky. Yeah, man. What's up? 